Namaste programs, welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator and the France to Australia in tiny little segments trip. Uh, yesterday we led, we finished off here on San Piero in Campo, which I have now learnt is the island of Elba. Uh, this is where Napoleon had his final years or days or whatever, I believe. Elba. Didn't know this was Elba. I knew that I thought Elba was a really tiny little island, and compared to these islands, are quite small. But I thought it might have been one of these little ones. All right. So today we're going to try and hop over to Corsica. Let's see what would be a good spot. How far away would this be? Twenty minutes. Hmm. Hmm. I think we can go further. Don't you? Let's go further down. Let's see how far down we can go. Maybe we'll cross Corsica. Maybe we'll go over to Ajaccio. Thirty-two minutes. Incredible. Incredible. But uh, let's actually add this as a waypoint just to have a look at that little island and then maybe try and get across here as quickly as possible so that we're not wasting too much time. Let's see what this does to the time. 34 minutes. All right. Do I want to go diagonally across like that? Why not? Why not? Any points of interest? Apparently not. Okay. Let's put this in just as a a waypoint anyway just so that we've got that mm, you know what it feels like it might be just mountainous should we go along here and then across yeah let's do that let's actually go down the coast so let's go to Servion and then down to Laria then to Ventiseri why not why not that's looking pretty good let's go all right we're ready to go let's go another beautiful day the bad weather is behind us for now. Hello, Windsock. Uh, let's go before we run into these hills here. All right, one minute, 3.38 as we do our uh, climb. This plane looks different every day. Get our flaps up. Center Chas Rover Zulu Alpha 11 is type Diamond DA 62 1 miles north of Lena India Romeo Juliet 400 feet. Request flight following. Chas Rover Zulu Alpha 11 round center. Walk 1275. Walk 1275 Chas Rover Zulu. Zero decimal one eight. There we go. Rover, Zulu, Alpha the magical B button. I'm waiting for the purple line to. Uh, I did notice it was going to take me quite a fair way out here before I turn. Plus, I need a bit of height. There's some hills in the road. Couple of little villages, towns down here. They have a squiz at. Alright, time to turn. 201 for 451. I'm actually going to try and do the timings now because yesterday's debacle where I didn't realize we'd uh, changed direction or we'd, we'd gone over a, a waypoint. So we'll just roughly time it out so that we'll know when we're at the various waypoints. Looks like almost ancient ruins or something on the side of the mountain there. Perhaps it's just ordinary buildings. Elba, it turns out. Maybe that's where Napoleon's house was. Up there, who knows. So yeah, first thing, I, uh, I zoomed all the way into this island that we're heading to over here to see what it was called. Didn't have a name. It's got a. It had an airport. Oh no, it didn't. It had a. I just did an order. I just did a custom thing, didn't I? Anyway, so I'm calling it Mystery Island. 
think we can now level up. We've made it over the hills here. Four percent, please. There we go. Ninety percent power. That should be pretty good. Head to our cute little island over here. On our way to good old Corsica. Maybe Napoleon was born in Elba. I forget now. Elba has something to do with Napoleon. I thought it was where he was exiled at the end of his uh, career, life, whatever you want to call it. How are we looking inside here? Oh, we've always got the Petot heat. Well, let's do that. There we go. We'll meet up with our purple line when we get to the island here. Look around. There's the rest of goodbye, Italy. We'll be back in Italy when we're in Sardinia, but for now we're heading back to, well, France, I guess. I don't know how Corsica's not an Italian territory, given where it's positioned. But hey, I'm sure it was in the past. I'm sure they've uh, swapped back and forth over the years. Awesome. So it looked from the the map that this island had farms and things on it, but I couldn't really tell you. It doesn't really look like there's any, uh, you know, buildings or anything. So what's the go there? Does one person own it and just cultivate the land? And there's possibly one or two little buildings somewhere. Maybe we're not close enough yet. Yeah, maybe there are some little... I mean, these are roads, right? There's a few little paths and roads, so maybe there's like a, a dock here. We've got a couple little houses here, maybe. What an interesting little island. Very flat. It would not support much of a rise in the sea level, would it? about to intersect our purple line. And yeah, look, timing's pretty much spot on as well. It's 4.51, we're at 4.30 right now. Another 20 seconds and we'll be right above the middle of the island, I think, where I selected. Oh, there's plenty of buildings on here. Couldn't see that at all. And I was right, that's where the port is. I wonder, I wonder what all this is. Maybe like a research or something. It's sort of weird building here. Fascinating. Not actually farm, but might I mean it's all you know, leveled, whatever you call it, where the trees have been cut down, but it doesn't look like it's crops or anything. What is this? What is going on here? Yeah, maybe it's military or something. I don't know. Oh, let's go. We want 263 for 911 uh, across the water here. Awesome. There we go. Oh, level off plane. There we go.
All right, settle in for a bit of uh, water crossing. Has to be done. Lots of, uh, well, quite a few little islands around here, isn't there? Bastier approach, huh? Going to one two seven decimal two five five Chaps Rover Zulu Alpha one one. Bastia approach Chaps Rover Zulu Alpha one one three thousand three hundred feet. Chaps Rover Zulu Alpha one one Bastia approach QNH three zero decimal two one continuous plan. Oh, thirty point two one. Yes, indeed. You press the B button, and that is correct. On our way to Bastia, is that where we're headed? No, so uh, didn't actually pick Bastia, that was a little bit further north than I wanted to go. Um, we're going to Luciana is the next uh, stop, next waypoint, not stop obviously. Because we're basically now heading away from Australia. But that's cool, I'm not here, I'm not in it to, give, to do a straight line from, uh, from where I was to where I want to go. I want to tour the world. This is a world tour. These stuff. Experience what it's like to fly over Corsica. Very mountainous, apparently. I did decide to go down the coast. That was probably a good decision for now. Don't know if I'm going to need to get higher to get over to uh, a jet show in the last segment. Absolute banger of a day, isn't it though? Isn't it though? Not a cloud in the sky. Awesome. No flashing lights or nothing. Looks like we're okay. Doing fine. purple line we're going across here. <gasps> it's a line in the water. Must be, uh, I don't, know. I don't know what it is. Some kind of demarcation of radar or something. Getting closer, getting closer. We're about halfway there. Four and a half minutes of nine minutes. Hope you're relaxed. Hope you're enjoying the, uh, the calmness, the serenity. I certainly am. Pondered maybe uh, fast forwarding or you know speeding up this the flying over the water stuff, but you know I don't know, I don't know. I feel like uh, I mean, for example, at the bottom of Sardinia to get to North Africa, I think it's a 40 minute. Uh, the qu closest I could get was 40 minutes, so probably won't make that an episode. I might just speed it up and add it to the front of the next episode or something like that. But then again, part of me is like, well, I want to just do this properly you know I want to sit no, I'm gonna fly it all I don't know whether you want to see it all though you know if it's a little bit boring but I mean you can either find it all boring or all interesting surely you know I'll think about it I'll think about it I'll see if I want to do a uh, 40 minute fly over water uh, uh, video 
just for the, you know, the verisimilitude, keeping things real. All right, three minutes to go. To Luciano. I love this plane. I, I've been using it for my own little trips around since this game came out. Um, it's just, I love it, the diamond. Obviously, I could have picked a jet or something like that to make these uh, things go so we could go further each half hour little thing, but no, I, I like the idea of, of using this plane to fly the world. Hello, Corsica. I believe this is Corsica. Unless I've got my two, uh, unless I've got my two islands mixed up, because I am terrible at geography. Corsica, obviously it's Corsica. Yes, indeed. Let's see, seven, eight minutes, eight minutes. Uh, we're looking at the, uh, here we go, there's a big curve to turn around. So maybe we're going a little bit fast. Here's the airport I picked in uh, Luciana. Let's see what the purple line has to do when it's going to change. I'm going to have a look around, see what there is to see. Not much, on, uh, there's a bit on the coast. Another aeroplane over there. Hello, other aeroplane. Awesome. Very awesome. All the way up into the hills there. Not a giant, I mean, a big airport for not much around, really. I'm going to start turning, even though the purple line hasn't done it yet. We want, let's see, 170. For 4 minutes 40 on our way to Servione. Servione. Awesome, awesome. Look at all this. Very pretty, very pretty, very interesting. Exciting scenery, hopefully. Big farmlands. Now, what did I see behind here? Nothing. I thought I saw a stadium or something, but no, I can't see it now. Oh, that, was that it? No. It was over here somewhere. Maybe that was it. Already too far away to have a look at it. Badge. I was too busy turning to look at it while I was uh, turning. Maybe we are going to need a bit more height with these uh, mountains. And eventually, we have to cross. And uh, because I deliberately wanted to go see the other side before, presumably, tomorrow crossing back over to Porto Vecchio and then down to uh, Sardinia. Again, I feel like now that I've said the word Sardinia so many times, is that, yeah, Sardinia. I thought I'd gone mad there. And suddenly, I'm, is that even a word? Or is that a place in Africa, Sardinia? No, it's definitely that island. The next island down. Got on there, big building. It's probably just a field that somehow the algorithm has decided to turn into a giant green. Well, maybe. Might be a big uh, warehouse, barn, storage of some sort. There's another plane again. Get out of my airwaves. Airwaves? 
Air, air, space. Air, space. Mmm, look at them mountains, though. They're awesome. Beautiful. Beautiful. Not really going 170 degrees here, so I'll... Let's correct that. Too busy looking around to follow the purple line. Those dark, weird things there, are they maybe solar panels that have been rendered in weird? Could just be barns, I guess, greenhouses of some sort. Got a little tower in the middle of that town there. It's probably a church. Some kind of cathedral. But by my reckoning, another minute and we should be at Servione. I don't know I'm not really seeing I thought I picked spots that look fairly populous with big towns maybe it was just I saw the name and just clicked on it and moved on maybe this is Servione over on the beach here maybe that's it up in the hills look at that what's going on there why are you hiding up in the hills there little town Hmm? What are you all about? The path up to the top of the mountain here? <gasps> Pilgrimage site. Go learn to be a dragon breather or something. That's cool. That's very cool. More little buildings on the hills there. Oh, little sneaky ones in amongst the, the forest here as well. Oh, you're a sneaky little town there. All right, we've that must have been Servione because we're turning 177 for 428 now. There we go, roughly there. What's going on down there? It's a little bridge over a, a gorge, maybe. No, oh, there's a river there actually. Excellent, leading to this tiny little village. Seems a bit much to be building uh, huge bridges just for a couple of little, uh, I guess it's probably the only way through. Nice little lake. Let's get back on course, too busy looking around. On our way to Aleria. What else have we got down here? Just farms now. Farms and more farms and some forests and some farms. Marseille Centre? Marseille controls Corsica? Uh, thank you, Marcel. You said, oh. What's going on here? Hmm, interesting. Lizard people. Lizard people. It's got to be the lizard people. Anything we don't know what it is, it's almost certainly the lizard people. The aliens. The Illuminati. The New World Order. The Shadow Government. You know it. You know it.
They're the ones who do squiggles in the uh, in the grounds like this. No ordinary human being would do the, do such things. How are we looking? So two and a half minutes of four and a half. Okay, fair enough. Still following our white line here. A little bit to the right of it, but that's okay. We don't need to be right on the line. There's shit to look at. Little seaside town over there, very cute. Yes, excellent, excellent. Let's see, you know, this must be pretty close to, this must be, what did I say it was, Aleria? Aleria. It's just, yeah, south of the lake here, so yes, here we are. The lovely little town of Aleria in Corsica. Very pretty. Got a river on it, got a lake. Got a bunch of big buildings. Probably a mall. Yeah, that's a mall, look, you know, car parking shopping center that's right I recognize a shopping center when I see it there we go time to turn 209 for 347 looks like we're gonna need to start gaining some height so I think I'm gonna do that let's uh Go up to maybe eight percent because these mountains that we're about to cross are very very high so let's see we're headed to Ventiseri in four minutes just down here huge lagoon very nice very nice out the edges of the lagoon here see if there's any interesting uh, spots where people jump off there we go people with a little you know little you can splash around in your little boats here little boatyard maybe enjoy the lagoon I wonder how high I need to be probably six or seven thousand feet there was an airport over here. Why didn't I find that on the map? LFKG. All right, it's about to be 90 degrees to the right in a couple of seconds. So that must be it here. It's, I guess, runway. There you go. I was trying to select those rather than doing custom points, but I didn't see it. I did not see it, unfortunately. see two minutes of what were we doing three and a half so well and we're quite slow because we're climbing somewhere here is uh, Ventiseri amazing beautiful another place where you could be at the beach and then in the, the snow in a matter of minutes all right 
white lines about to head to the right a bit to take us to Ajaccio where we will be landing. Why is Marseille on a different radio now? level off now 8,000 seems reasonable enough to me uh, looks like we'll get over this mountain here although I think we're turning slightly to the right so we might still need to gain a little bit of height but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it we are now over this must be oh wow what's going on there more Illuminati stuff they cleared those marshlands and turned it into what what, what is that Aventiseri. Alright, well, anyway. We won't uh, ask too many questions. We might get disappeared. Let's see, 265 for 938. Crossing the mountains to the other... Well, crossing the entire... Uh, land of Corsica. Are we high enough? Oh, just, I think. Just. Just high enough. Alright, let's, let's enjoy these mountains now. Now, I sort of picked here to cross because I think there was a dot in between uh, Vettiseri and Ajaccio. I didn't actually make it a, a, a mark. Which just, you know, I was hoping there'd be some kind of, you know, civilization to look at in the middle here, not just mountains. Not that just mountains would be fine, but... I wonder if there's a hidden little town, city, behind these mountains. Always looking for these sneaky little places. Hey, Yacho. Good day. building here i think what's that all about no roads to it just possibly a algorithmic thing that's gone wrong but also possibly some kind of research station or fort or something just sitting there it does look like it's got like cleared ground around it maybe not maybe it's just a weird rock that the uh the game has rendered in strangely you have to be careful about these weird rocks. At least we have got we have got civilization in this valley here. People. Whoa! My plane is suddenly getting thrown around. What's going on? Suddenly wind up at this height? Obviously yes. Now it is. Little towns all over the place. All over the place. Let's go down to 80%. I think we're over the, the highest part of the mountain there now. So we can probably descend a bit. While we check out this civilization here. This lost mystery civilization that no one's ever seen before. In the middle of Corsica. I'm claiming uh, discovery rights. On this ancient tribal god-fearing pyramid building lizard people civilization got anything on the no 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 air well, I thought this might be a runway here but uh, no it's just a patch of green grass on the top of a f hill it almost be a runway kind of place that they put runways in these crazy places We float through the clouds. Wow, look at that. Beautiful. Huh. 
idyllic place to live, right in the middle of the mountains there. That's incredible. Very cool. Very, very cool. A few little roads up the mountain here. Probably some nice bush tracks across the top of the, the ridges there. Corsica looks like an awesome place. Kudos, Corsica. You've done well. And that must be a Jutsio on the on the bay there. Or as the traffic controller just told me, Ayashio. I don't know if that's just because it's text-to-speech and it's decided that's how it's pronounced, or maybe that's how it's pronounced locally. These are clearly Italian names for this French island. Lel. Alright, well we're actually about four minutes out, so... Let's power down even more, maybe to like, I don't know, 65. Start losing a bit more height. As we try to find this airport. In Ajaccio, Ajaccio. Bit of a strong wind there. Blowing me off course. Alright, it's looking like... Yeah, I think the airport was here somewhere because this was actually Ajaccio and there was a town here as another name but I assume this is the airport that, that serves the bigger town the city, so cause it looks like a big airport. Yeah, which way are the runways going? No, hard to tell. Hard to tell. I think they're going right to left, but um, we'll see about that as we get a bit closer. I might even zoom out my VFR map. Oh no, we got straight in. I thought maybe it was gonna... Yeah, it wants me to land like that. So we'll do that then. We will definitely do that. Alright. That well, means we need to come back out over the water here a bit. We're not 100% certain where the actual one way ends. Be about there's all right. Let's actually start slowing down enough to get our flaps down and our gear down. There they go. Out they pop. Why? Okay. Don't, why did they come down at the same time? That's weird. I know, I've noticed that before with planes. That's not uncommon. Trim back a little bit to make our life a little bit easier. Maybe not that much. Try 10%. So this is the runway here, right? Yeah. Yeah! Coming into land. The runway pretty much ends at the beach there. That'd be another one of these uh, cool airports around the world where you can lay on the beach and have uh, airplanes nearly kill you. Like this. You'd hope that maybe they don't allow people to sit on that part of the beach. Then again, if you're just walking along the beach, you, what can you do? You, are they going to put signs up or something? Or traffic lights to say, do not... Uh, Cross right now, there may be an aeroplane.
We actually need to lose a bit of height here, really. Bit of the old height going on here. We're way too high. Okay, keep it in the white. I think we can start turning this way a bit. Yes, very nice. Oh, aren't you a pretty town, Ajaccio? Look at that with its mountains and its sea. Very cute, very nice, very pretty. It's just powered down completely. We're still too high. Get our bearings. There we go. We've got our lights in the water for some reason. Those boats are about to crash into the lights that are in the water. Go. Okay, how are we looking? We're coming in a bit short already. There we go. We've run, managed to solve our too high problem. We are now too low problem. Watch out for the lights. There we go. Let's not go too nuts. And you go plane. There we go. Oh, a bit heavy. Bit heavy, but we made it. That's fine. All right, that was leg five of the World Tour France to Australia in tiny little bits, bush trip, journey, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we've arrived at Ajaccio in Corsica. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. Thank you for existing. Au revoir. Goodbye.